um, tolerance negotiation. Uh, this has been in the older version, but unless somebody, uh, we, haven't, we are not using the day beta version, this is a very powerful tool to apply tolerance negotiation. This is a very, uh, it's an analysis based function within QDM. Allows you to uh, tell what should be my, with the current uh, upper and lower spec limit and the data, what is my capability? And uh, did they pass a certain target? And if it doesn't pass a certain target, what should be the new upper and lower spec to, to get to that target? Let's say I want to get to a target of CP of 1.33. Based on my process and based on the data that I have, what, how much should we open up the tolerance to get to uh, CP of 1.33? So this is uh, what the tolerance and negotiation function does. And we've made some enhancements to that topic. So I'm going to quickly kind of go through that. Um, let me open um, open maybe like a base template uh, all sites. Okay, so that's a template with data. Uh, I got 30 samples on here. I'm going to go to tools and click on tolerance negotiation. So it runs through an analysis of all my points and tells me that uh, these columns that are in the gray are basically as based on the data that's coming in. What's my x bar? What's my sigma? LSL is uh, LSL nominal and USL um, CP and CPK. But the analysis part is telling whether my target is here. I can set my target to 1.33 or 1.18 or 1. Point whatever my target uh, CP and CPK target that I want to achieve. And it's telling me whether each of these based on the data column number, the CPK pass and CP pass and CPK pass is telling me whether it uh, based on the data, is it pass or fail? Let's pick one example. I'm just going to pick this uh, T value right here. Um, so here it is telling me that the CPK failed and the CP failed and CPK failed because the CP is only at 0 0.93 and my CPK is only at 0 0.53. Um, now it also does some uh, reverse engineering based analysis to find out what should be the new CP and CP, what should be the new USL and LSL to get to a CP of 1.33. Um, so in this particular case from uh, upper and lower spec of plus or minus 0.5, it's telling me that if you open up the tolerance to plus or minus 0 0.7, you would achieve a tolerance of, or you would get a, achieve a CP of 1.33. Uh, with this and uh, with this new version, we have also done apply. Uh, so right now there is no mean shift applied. So that's why my CPK is still 0 0.93. We haven't made any changes to the CPK value. I'm going to apply spec limits and mean shift so that we can see if I could also bring in the CPK to the target level. And I'm gonna click on apply spec limit and click on recalculate. Now for that exact same feature, uh, the upper and lower spec need to be at 0 0.71 to get to the CP of 1.33. But the mean, if we apply a mean shift of 0 0.22, that would also bring in the CPK to 1.33. So it just gives the engineer a perception of what, maybe everything is not possible, but at least gives them the ability to look at it and say, how much should they open up or shrink down the tolerance to, to get to a certain target value. And uh, once that particular, and this is done with an interactive session. So if I wanted to know more about this, I, I want to know where this feature is. I can double click on it. It'll take me to that page in my report and show me where that point is. It's at the front uh, door to Fender interface. And this gives the engineer a little bit more insight on whether they can open up the tolerance there or not. Maybe, maybe it's not possible given the location, or maybe it is possible because it's at the corner and it doesn't affect it, it's not an interface point. So things like that gives you an interactive session that uh, the, the the template creator and the and the consumer, whether it's an OEM or, or a supplier, uh, can use this tolerance negotiation sessions. And you can also try changing uh, because probably 0 0.7 is not acceptable. You can only go up to 0 0.6. And um, I'm gonna change it to 0 0.6 here. Uh, just for talking purpose and it recalculates and tells me if you do 0 0.6 you're only going to get to 1.12 you're not going to get to 1.33 and this is something that you have to negotiate with the OEM or with your supplier and say if that's acceptable if that's acceptable you can apply that proposed specification to the report by just one button click 
or I can export this to uh, what we call a tolerance negotiation table. Um, uh, I'm going to go back to that um, section. And what the tolerance negotiation table gives you is a summary uh, of the whole whole report, and I'll come back to that. And you can also do the same what I did with CP and CPK to a PP and PPK, and you can apply any type of target, and you can redo your uh, tolerance negotiation session with that. So let me quickly jump back here to open the the report that came out of the tolerance negotiation session. Um, I'm going to open that uh, file. So this is a standard format that's currently used by uh, automotive OEMs and suppliers to uh, to negotiate on their tolerances. So this is uh, a standard report called Proposed Manufacturing Tolerance Report uh, with your part number and all that. Um, so these gray boxes basically tells you by data what it is showing. Um, then you get the proposed specification, whatever is proposed uh, based on our changes that we made in QDM and uh, typically what they do is once it's agreed the engineer will copy these and uh, paste them on these boxes which is the approved specification and uh, primarily goes to the bottom of the uh, page which is a form where the um, where the dimensional engineer the product engineer and quality engineer everybody signs off and that gets into the next revision of your part or goes into the design chain or or an acceptable uh, disposition that everybody agreed to. So this is a standard process that people spend hours and hours doing this and uh, we just uh, automated and made that process faster. So just in the interest of time I'm gonna kind of quickly move through the rest of the topics. Um, so that's about tolerance negotiation. Um, 